Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Yeah, I've, I've been sitting up here watching some of the things on YouTube, just some movies for entertainment, and on the other hand, watching Christian programming and listening to other messengers on YouTube share what God has shown them. And sitting here, I was asking God, well, Lord, you know, what do I talk about? Because I haven't, I didn't have a dream last night. I didn't have anything prophetic. And as soon as I asked the Lord that, I saw electrical storms, power outages, which I'm just getting that now, uh, floods, torrential rains, um, I'm also getting um, kind of wind issues. Some are in the form of tornadoes, but I think the tornadoes are symbolic of troubling times. But mainly, okay, I'm also seeing meteors, meteorites. If I'm saying it incorrectly, forgive me, but you know what I mean. Stuff falling from the sky. Um, I don't see a gigantic, I just see like showers of it. But what I want to say is the scariest part of all of that was that demons are going to be loosed in a much higher number. And the ones they're going to act through to hurt us will be animals. Dogs especially, coyotes, mountain lions, bears, they're going to be showing up in the weirdest places. I'm seeing it as I talk. I'm not, I'm not grabbing this uh, to make it sound dramatic. I prayed and asked God to show me, and that's what I'm seeing right now as I'm talking to you. Um, there may come times where we as saints need to stay indoors. I remember years ago, and I know that you know these are the last days. Almost any idiot can tell that. But the thing that's really seeming to be more, um, more of a, a higher alert is that many people are going to be shot. They, they will be caught off guard. Um, the one scripture the Lord gave me to read today was the scripture about Noah and the ark. And we all pretty much know that story, how God was going to bring judgment on his creation and destroy every living creature on the earth and in the sky. Um, and it looked like uh, it, uh, that was the 40-day flood. It rained 40 days and 40 nights. And there was not a mountain peak that stuck out from under the water. Everything was covered in water. And he had warned Noah to build an, build an ark and gather the different creatures according to God's instructions so that when it was finally time for a new beginning, there would be just about every species God wanted on the planet of the earth, on the planet earth. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Senior moment. So I really believe that we need to be very, very prayerful in through this time. I mean, we should always pray, but my point is we need to seek God daily. Do I go out today or do I stay in? Um, some freeways go through mountain passes. Some of you might have to stay off the freeway in order to be able to get home. There are going to be some weather anomalies. That's what I'm getting. Weather anomalies and weird animal behavior. And you need to know the power you have in the name of Jesus. Listen to what I'm saying. I watched a group of Filipinos on Facebook, on a video, 
where they saw a tor two tornadoes getting ready to touch down at the same time. And they knew the authority they had in the name of Jesus. And some of them were speaking in their dialect and others were speaking in English. But they were rebuking that tornado. They were telling both tornadoes to go back up in the sky and go away in the name of Jesus. Some of you may come face to face with a mountain lion, a coyote, a wolf, or a dog, whatever. And you may have to look at that dog or pack of dogs or whoever the animals are and yell at them. I bind you in the name of Jesus because there is power in the name of Jesus, you guys. Get wrapped all up in Jesus. He is our ark of safety. Noah had to go into a physical ark. Those of us who are in Christ Jesus, living according to his ways, are within the ark of safety. But we must also draw close to each other. Because there will be times when some people may need to warn other people not to do certain things or they may get dreams about each other and say God showed me that you were at a store and it was being robbed and you got hurt maybe you need to stay home today I mean we need to really be close to God and close to each other and it all needs to be motivated by love or else we really won't care so Know the power you have in the name of Jesus in these crazy last days. Ask God when it's safe to go out. Ask God when it's not. And you act accordingly. You stay within the boundaries of your Christendom with the body of Christ. Going to church, getting counsel, whatever the case may be. Going to some of the prayer meetings that you may normally not go to. Your area may need extra prayer in order for it to be passed over and spared like the Israelites were when they were in their houses and God instructed them to put the blood on the doorposts. Well, that was the blood of the sacrificial lamb. Well, now we have the sacrificial lamb, which is Jesus Christ, and he shed his blood for us. Is his blood on your doorpost? Is his blood in your life if it's not you need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and pray that God pass over judgment past your area where your area will be a safe zone uh, a refuge a place of safety I am so serious you guys and so many people on YouTube are, are instructing us to get prepared well some of us like me are on a fixed income and we have to go with the timing when the the money is there uh, I'm on that Social Security widows benefits so I have to make sure that it's in my account in order for me to load up on extra water or um, well not water because I have food stamps but that's what the food stamps will be used for during the next few months not so much uh, produce it will be some produce because I make smoothies out of the vegetables and fruits. But you will need to get things like oatmeal and water and canned milk. And uh, um, I'm trying to think of some things that, that, oh, like fiber bars, meal bars, things that don't go bad for months and months and months. You have to load up on batteries, candles all kind of things flashlights uh, some of us will have to borrow money to get generators so that we can at least keep out keep our food um, fresh and and keep a few lights on in the house maybe be able to have heat so pray and ask God what to do for your area and ask him not to allow your power to go out in your area either I mean this is prayer time we really need to ask God. He told Noah what to do. He warned him decades and decades on top of decades ahead of time 
what he should do. Okay? It was close to a century. But he told him way ahead of time what he should do. Gave him plenty of time to prepare and get that boat ready. And once it was ready, God said, it's time. So we need to be ready. So when God says, it's time, we won't be sitting there with our thumbs in our mouths looking stupid and crying. No, Lord, no. I mean, I'm talking to me too. We all need to seek God more than we usually do. Okay? This is that kind of time. God bless all of you. God bless me and mine. All of us with supernatural divine protection. Amen. Because we're going to need it, you guys. <laughs>